Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I have come up with an how to make elevation on AutoCAD. So I have a plan here of a 4BHK. It's a house and uh, uh, this is what you can see is a, a, a drawing, a plan of ground floor and the first floor. What we do is here uh, first initially the we for the rough drawing we take out the uh, we take out the plan for our to make the elevation elevation is something what you see from the front front side it is what we are doing now is a front elevation you can also do a side elevation uh, right side left side depending on uh, on your need so this is what we are preparing here it's a it's a old drawing that i have prepared depending on the plan we are uh, we draw the elevation in a 2d frame in a single in the single frame what uh, in a single uh, dimension two two dimensional drawing so here to begin with first we erect a line the elevation is something that you draw exactly the to the edges with which you can see from the from your uh, front face from the face which you are trying to draw the elevation so this is it you draw a single line then copy the the drawing on the each edges you uh, that you can see from that side so you just erect a vertical lines pa wherever you need you just erect it depending on the uh, depending on the plan which you are drawing if it is a, a ground floor drawing you have to erect as per the ground floor plan if it is first floor drawing you have to erect as per the first floor drawing so this is what we are doing here and after that so this is what we are doing here So once we done with the vertical lines, we have to give levels to it, like a ground floor, ground floor, ground level, plinth level, lintel level, and uh, a slab level. In the same way, uh, I work uh, using the uh, uh, unit of uh, feet, and this is what it is uh, for the plinth. It is two feet, and from the lintel, that is uh, door level, top level, uh, which is seven feet, and uh, which is a floor level clear floor level it is uh, 10 feet so just you just to notify that uh, I have just uh, named it so in this way you can also uh, draw manually if you are drawing a manual drawing you can also these uh, method there are a lot of uh, ways to uh, draw the elevation so this is one of the easiest way I feel and uh, precise way where you can get exactly uh, exact elevation uh, as per the our drawing so once we are done with our complete uh, the lines vertical and uh, horizontal lines we uh, then we uh, trim out all the unnecessary lines whichever we have to uh, remove we are supposed to trim that and uh, you must have at least you must have some idea about the drawing that you are going to get after that it it comes after much practice once you get used to uh, drawing elevation of a, of a small simple building then a basic elevation what you what uh, what we call once you get the idea how to draw it then it becomes very easy uh, to make any, any elevation so this is it you remove all unnecessary lines and uh, finally what you get is a complete uh, basic elevation of that particular plan so now that we have almost finished with the uh, our ground floor uh, elevation
so when it comes to doors and windows you just have to notify that just to for the identification you have to make a window uh, like uh, depending on uh, on your need and whatever design you feel however you feel easy if you have a blog you can place your blog there and if you have uh, this uh, if you can draw the window frame and door frame it is more suitable i usually prefer these uh, to draw manually because uh, i i am used to it and i have my own pattern of uh, making doors and windows here to make the window i do what i do is first i make a frame and then i make uh, i give the uh, number of shutters that i want this is a frame what we do first then i uh, i make number of uh, shutters that i want based on that i i try to i try to draw it giving an offset using rectangle is a very uh, easiest way that uh, you can just uh just draw it easily in between of drawing all these thing you can uh, once you have we have finished our ground floor we can begin the same method like uh, erecting a vertical lines then uh, giving a levels the levels like uh, window level and uh, slab level it's a uh, we can do it we have to draw that as uh, we have done it for the ground floor in the same way once we are done with the uh, our reference line these lines we call it as reference line once we have done with the reference lines be depending on the plan we remove all the extra lines extra lines that we don't need it and we, uh, we, 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 we so we are going to remove all the extra lines and uh, we in the same way what we do it uh, on the uh, did it on the ground floor we remove all the extra lines and when it comes to the final floor which defines you 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 it which, which give you option of making a uh, roof design or grill design whatever it you can do it like uh, so in this way in on the top floor you can design your own way so so i have also done uh, done with some elevation uh, sim, uh, for the same plan uh, just by changing the roof style Uh, using a pitch roof and some box type of elevation we can try uh, many options that we uh, that we want to do this way how we do elevation so i hope uh, this was uh, useful for you all and uh, like these i'll come up uh, with the section how to make section in my next video so this was it guys uh, hope you hope you like it and uh, we'll continue and uh, we'll have uh, good time with you all thank you